Okay, I wanna do somewhat of an experiment today, uh, experimenting the different steps or levels of cleaning the Corona wires. Uh, it's gonna cost you about 150 bucks to replace all four wires if you buy the OEM Corona wires. And I wanna kinda approach the problem by first using the, the Konica Minolta tool, and I'll show you that. And second, if that doesn't work, then using a pencil eraser to scrub that wire a little more aggressively to remove any toner or oxidization that's happening on that wire. If that doesn't work, taking a spool of Corona wire and restringing a new wire just to see what happens, because I've never done anything like that. Uh, and then, well, of course, if that doesn't work, we'll just go ahead and throw in new wires. I don't know what's gonna happen, stick around. So getting ready to print this magazine here, and you can see right in here, it's kind of a blue line. That doesn't mean there's a problem with the cyan wire drummer developer. What's happening here is a lack of magenta, because that's kind of a gray image. So there should be an equal proportion of the cyan, magenta, and yellow in there. And if you take one of those away, this happens. So I can see from that printout what's going on, but I would like to print a test sheet and I'll show you how to do that. First you go to your utility, stop, zero, zero, stop, zero, one. That opens up your uh, service mode. Then you go to test, test pattern. And uh, there's a ton of different patterns but I only really use one, and that's test pattern 62. You push set, that changes the test pattern to 62 here. Then you go to your print. You need to make sure this is full color. Then you select the paper you want to print to. I'll just do this 1117 here, and print. This test pattern is going to print out a half tone of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and then a combination. And it's really going to show how bad uh, either your wires or drums are. This yellow looks good. There's a lot of lines here in the magenta, which is where our problem is coming from. It's this top, top band that you, we saw in that print. So we need to do something about magenta, definitely. Cyan's not bad. Just a slight line, but that probably won't show up in hardly anything. And black. Black's looking a little rough, too. And then you'll also get a combination of uh, yellow and magenta for this one. Cyan and yellow makes the green. Magenta and cyan makes a purple. And then this combination of all of them. So seeing those bands in there, I would be 80% sure that the wires need to be cleaned or replaced. Uh, and one way to also help you make that decision is exit out of this and go to your counters, parts counter, charging. And you can see here, the Corona wires are at 222. That's, that's twice the life. Uh, and you can also see next to it right here. The previous Corona wires were replaced at 150. So we're well beyond what the last set of wires gave us. And even this black, wow. That's up at 333. And the last one was replaced at 200. So that information alone helps me decide that it's certainly a wire problem. Now it could also be drums but they're not that bad. So like 120 out of 100, 200 out of 100 for the magenta. Uh, black drum's not, not that old at all. So let's open her up. Okay, so here are your four wires uh, and uh, your color is going to correspond with the toner. So if you wanted to know which one, just open up your toner over here and you can see that this is the yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. So 
magenta and black are the, the two that look bad. Um, typically what I do is replace all four at the same time, and then you're just good to go, and you have more uptime that way. But in the interest of science, we're going to test one at a time. Um, magenta was the worst one, so let's, uh, let's pull that one out first. And right here is the cleaning tool that is used. Just insert it on the end here that has a cutout. And then you're going to want to do a 45 degree angle turn. And then that'll slide back and forth. And what that does is there's two fingers that go in and scrub the wire. Okay, using this tool is going to clean up a small amount of banding that you see, but we saw a large amount, so I highly doubt this is going to do anything at all, uh, besides the fact that the life of these are way past their, their duty cycle. But we're going to put that back in and see what it looks like. Okay, here you can see the before and after. Not much of a change. There is a slight difference. Uh, so now we're going to go to the next step. First thing we want to try is cleaning this with an eraser. First things first, got to get these springs off of here. Oh boy. Got to be careful you don't shoot those across the room. Then we take this grid off. And if there's toner on here, we should clean that off. Should probably wipe it down a little bit. Then we're just going to use a pencil eraser. And carefully scrub that wire. There's definitely dirt on there. And uh, the banding issue that we're having is towards the inside here. So Now the reason I wanted to get it from this side is because the Konica tool only cleans really the two sides. Um, so it, it doesn't really hit the top and bottom quite as good as the sides. Well, I'm sure you won't be able to see this on camera, but that wire now glistens so in the light. So I'm assuming that it's clean now because it looked kind of black before. And dirt has certainly fallen out of there. There's a little bit of toner right here. A lot of the time, if there's toner on the grid, that can potentially be more of a problem than a dirty wire. Okay, let's put it back together and make a test print. Okay, not much difference. And that leads me to conclude I made a mistake. So I opened up the counter here and it turns out that my magenta drum is a lot higher than I thought. So the magenta drum unit's at 205, uh, which is typically about what you'll get out of a drum. You know, the other colors are around 100 or less than 100. So that magenta drum is likely the culprit. Okay, so I just put in a new drum for the magenta and I'm gonna clean the black Corona. We're gonna see what that looks like. New drum made a big difference there. Um, so now, now we're good to go. Okay, that was a huge failure. Not only did I misdiagnose that, and it just turned out to be drums and not wires, I wasn't able to test whether or not you can clean wires with an eraser and or stretch your own. 
So I gotta find a wire that needs to be cleaned. And this black one has a relatively new drum, but there are lines and those light colored lines are probably dirt on that wire. So let's take a look at that. Ah, okay, it's good and bad. Before, after. There's still definitely some banding going on in there, but a lot of this cleaned up. So, yeah, there's a there's a pretty substantial one there. Which is weird because that wasn't even showing up on the earlier one. But now let's try cleaning it with an eraser. Okay, using the loop, you can actually see a difference on that wire. And I was trying to inspect what came off the wire to see what it was. And I, it looks to just be toner dust or like dirt. I'm also really curious what would happen if I didn't put this grid back on. Maybe that'll be for another video. Okay, so this is before using the eraser and this is after. And you can definitely see here that uh, this line here was cleaned up. And this looks really good actually, and I'm, I'm fine with running it like that. But I really want to see if it's possible to replace that wire and what it would look like if I did that. So I have a little spool here of Corona wire and I'm gonna swap it out and we're gonna see what happens. my camera died but uh, you just spin that spring on the end of the the wire and it creates uh, you know like a little knot there stretch it back out uh, and we are good to go um, but I want to just go over that wire with alcohol once because I'm sure my oily fingers aren't gonna be good for it I just snap these guys back in put the grid in let's see what happens It worked. You can stretch your own Corona wires. I still have some uh, light areas up here and I don't know if maybe maybe that's something on the grid or maybe it's a drum issue. Um, but that's not going to show up in the prints that I'm doing. Uh, but all of these banding issues down here are all gone now. There you go. It's possible. Well that was fascinating. I've always wondered if you could do that uh, it wasn't until recently that I saw somebody else do it on YouTube and I was like, I wonder if I could do that on my machine. Uh, so financially speaking, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, it's nice to know I have the option for me to replace all the Corona wires. It's going to cost about 150 bucks. And if I were to restring them myself, the cost is going to be about $2, but it's going to take a lot more time. So it depends if you have time or money whichever one you want to spend on this uh, but I'll probably always keep a set of Corona wires on the shelf um, but that's a nice backup to be able to stretch your own well I gotta quit playing around and get back to printing so thanks for watching we'll catch you next time